you know, we are very loving, caring people. And we love hard. And I could tell you from my perspective, you know, I was in a very abusive family. But no one could tell because the abuser in my life was this religious narcissist. And so, you know, she, she found a way to get around all kind of abuse that she was doing in that household. And I was there to worship her. And I did worship her. I worshipped her. And then the abuse ended. And, of course, you know, I got grown and went on into another relationship. But I kept that, that religious narcissist with me. Oh, I wouldn't say I kept her with me. She followed me. She followed me throughout life with this whole, I need you, I need you. And it was always a storm. It was always a bill that couldn't be paid. And it's like I was stuck in the middle of everybody needing me, but I had nowhere to go for help. So I had to try to find a way to find calm in a storm, a raging storm that I've been in since the day I opened my eyes until today because it's still a storm you know a, a raging storm that just surrounds me and i'm the only calm thing in the middle of this disaster and i ask myself how do how do you do it you know how do you how do you live and all throughout the chaos because we are human we know the world throws a lot of stuff at us and so when we walk out our doors, we got to deal with a lot of drama and chaos and stress. But then when you come home and you got to deal with it at home, and you got to deal with it when you go to family gatherings, there is nowhere to escape, right? And so trying to find a place in the middle of the storm is one. You got to remember who you are, who you truly are. You got to tune them out. They don't call you all these names, tell you you're doing all these things that you are not doing because they little things. They cells are demented and sick, and that is how they think. But they're going to project that crap onto you. Don't claim it. Don't accept it. And it's hard because you've been accepting it your whole life. But now it's time to take that coat off. And it's time to live your life the way you want to live your life. And let them go head on and find somebody else because they're going to find somebody else. You are no longer the sacrifice, okay? I want you to no longer be the sacrifice. Do not sacrifice your life trying to save somebody else. Listen, if they don't found them a new victim, let them have that victim. You stay out of it. Find your peace in this disaster. Go for walks. Tell yourself you're beautiful or just simply shut down. Stop it all. Close the door. Turn that phone off. Don't answer it. Change your phone number. You can't move. You got to stay. Don't answer the door. You're only going to, these people are not going to leave you alone until they cannot get in contact with you, but they're still going to try. They're still going to try, but you got to find your calm in the midst of their chaos. But as long as you let these people be around you, you will never find calm. Okay, guys. Oh, okay. And I also want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. This is a little short video. I just needed to get that out there. Hopefully it made sense. This is Aqua Love Gardening, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love yourselves and love each other. <laughs> Bye.